We are all excited here at the zoo with the birth of our 50th baby gorilla. A lot of that came from them all living in a natural social group in our big outdoor exhibit. You know, our outdoor gorilla center, when it opened in 1978, was the world's first barless outdoor gorilla exhibit. That seems common today, but in 1978, when this facility opened, it was the first of its kind. And now all over the world, people have learned, leave your gorillas with their parents, have them live as a social group, and they'll grow up to behave like wild gorillas. What we're excited about now is we're going to build a $12 million addition to this facility, a big indoor space, basically a giant greenhouse. It'll have about the same square footage for the animals on exhibit as the outdoor area does, but it'll help us in a number of ways. It'll help us with their husbandry and care here at the zoo, but most importantly, it will also allow us to show gorillas every day of the year. In the winter time, it's often too cold for gorillas to go outside. So when you come, even if it's February, you'll be able to see our gorillas in there. It also helps us tell the gorilla story, which is the main reason that zoos are around, is to tell the story of wildlife in the wild, their natural life and what it takes to protect them for the future. So we're looking forward to, hopefully as early as the summer of 2017, to have a brand new indoor gorilla facility here at the Cincinnati Zoo.